I go to YouTube, I'm Max, and today I wanted to make some space in my cupboard, so I decided to open two booster boxes at once. And because I'm not crazy, I'm opening two rather cheap ones with the King's Court and Legendary Duelists, Duels from the Deep. Um, at least I try to open them, with not too much success as you could see. I'm not sure if I... Uh, managed to open all packs in the 15 minutes that my camera allows me to film, but even if not, um, that shouldn't be a problem, because 15 minutes full of booster pack opening should do, no matter how many packs it is. Of course I will not go very slowly or something, but there will be lots of cards in here, and maybe, just maybe, I can get something decent out of the rather unspectacular packs. And Oh, Lightning Storm first pack! That is something decent, even though it's not as valuable as it used to be. First pack. Great pull. Now droplet from LED9. Um, and we have the big staples. Or oh, rivalry, why not? I'm gonna sort these out later. Of course, you guys can uh, tell me which of the two sets you like more, or which of the sets you hate more. <laughs> That's also a possibility. So, personally, I think LED9 is a little uh, unfairly rated, because there are some cards in there that kind of do stuff, like the whole Legendary Ocean theme deck. That's kind, of, that's kind of trolly, but if you pull it off, it can be quite decent. Um, and for King's Court, yeah, there's stuff like Guilty Gear Freed, which is a good super poly target. There's Lightning Storm, of course, and you can get Collector's Rares of Rota, for example, which I already managed to pull two of. And some of the um, face card theme, uh, uh, face card themed cards are also quite okay. After the first half of King's Court, I'm gonna go into Duels from the Deep. I'm gonna take a deep dive. <laughs> this is uh, another Hyper Galaxy. For King's Court and other collector's rare sets, it's usually three ultra rares per box. And if you are really lucky, in one out of four or one out of three boxes you can get a collector's rare. Oh, Pot of Duality. Yang Zing stuff. Huh. It cooled down after the hot start. But seeing a rivalry in collector's rare or something like that would be great for the latter half of the video. Oh, Guilty Gilfried, there we go. This is a very strong box. I said it earlier, even though the sets are cheap, there is potential. But not both boxes can have such a hot start as King's Court had. And uh, just so you know, in King's Court there are guaranteed super rares, and in LED9, like in the other Legendary Duelists boxes, there are uh, non guaranteed. Oh, Abyss Shark, that's nice. Around 4 to 5 euro maybe. Um, where was I? In the Legendary Duelist sets, you have a rare per pack, and of course commons, and then there's a chance that you have a super rare, I think it's seven supers and five ultras per box, that you usually get. So it's not like back in the day when super rares were twice as likely as ultra rares. I don't think that's too too much of 
a spectacular card, so I'll leave it in the pile to be sorted out later. There's actually one super rare in here, which is the Marinza Spring Girl that has some value. So uh, if we see that, it's gonna be sorted out. Other than that, yeah, there's common torrential tribute in here, which of course has no value. Um, but is a nice card. And Coral Triangle, I'm not sure. There we go, TT. Um, the Coral Triangle and the, I think, Aqua Organaut, um, they are around like 1 to 2 euro, maybe. Oh, Abyss Shark again. Hmm. How about a double Lightning Storm? Uh, not Lightning Storm, Forbidden Droplet. That would be nice. But double Abyss Shark is decent as well. Rage of Kairyushin. Hmm. It's almost time for the halftime show, <laughs> but of course, uh, I will not do a half uh, halftime show. A halftime show. And that was weird. TT again, nice. So far it's been four holos out of this box, I think. So there should be some more, even in uh, this half. Or I jumped over some of them. Ah, oh, wait, yeah, there were two of these sharks, I think. Not the Abyss Shark, but the other one. Hmm. Oh, uh, Seventh Ascension. Uh, this is not great for an Ultra Rare, but let's put it over here nonetheless. So King's Court, second half. Oh, Pot of Duality. Yeehaw. Cue slum Q's Q some slip not here. Oh, scrap twin dragon. Come on. Please one more nice ultra rare. Or even a collector's. Guilty Griffith and Lightning Storm are quite nice. Maybe something like the. Um, is it Imperial Bower? I think. No, a card of cards. That's nothing. into an ASMR video right now. <laughs> Come on, last ultra rare. much more to say.
at a time. Second half of King's Court was kind of bad. Eventually, or maybe, duels from the deep can overtake. I mean, the double, double abyss shark is okay. And yeah, the other twos so far are not great. But there's always potential for a ghost rare in these packs. And there's potential for a forbidden droplet. Or for a fish sauna or for Marinz's dive. Which are also kind of decent cards. Doom Kraken. It's a funny card but not good. Come on! Give us something to be happy about towards the end. Oh, Kairyushin. Yeah. Uh, not like this. Okay, maybe at least a spring girl for a bit more value. Please. Or an error box with more than five ultra rares. That would be appreciated as well. Nope. Not in this pack. Crystal Shark. Crystal Maiden. Give mana. Oh, double doom kraken. <laughs> I think in the anime uh, it was called the Fiend Kraken. I don't know why they changed it to Doom Kraken. Maybe it was the Japanese equivalent of Doom Kraken originally. And the dub was like, eh, don't do it. And the actual card game was, yes, we do it. Nope. Hmm. It started out so nicely. Oh, <laughs> poor pack. I'm sorry. That was a little harsh. Two packs left. Come on. Yeah, there we go. At least the spring girl. Spring girl. I can't talk today. Well, at least we got this merits a spring girl. I'm just wondering if my videos have uh, subtitles auto-generated and curious what uh, it would make out of my last few utterings. So for LED 9, Duels from the Deep, we have Emerence the Spring Girl, we have Kairi Shin, we have Double Abyss Shark, which is decent, and two bad Ultra Rares, not even trying to name them. And for King's Court, we have one uh, ultra rare and two pretty nice ones with Lightning Storm and Guilty Gear Freed. So, yeah, I'd call this kind of okay. I mean, we have to consider what I was opening here. So there's not, not too much greatness to be expected here. At least uh, if you don't get a Ghost Rare or a Collector's Rare. Uh, I didn't get any of both, but considering that, it's okay. Um, Thank you for watching. See you next time on, uh, on Random Old School Yu-Gi-Oh. It's uh, not too late, but I still can't talk today. Whatever. See you next time and uh, have a good time. Until then, ciao.